check it out. Buddy, so I filmed a video doing a grocery haul last time and a lot of you guys asked me and requested me to do a little vlog style video where I take you guys in the store with me. So I'm here at this like really popular grocery store. This grocery store is like known to be I guess like vegetarian slash vegan. So this is my first time coming, and there's so many people, but I'm gonna look for a car, so, yeah. Boom. Guys, I don't feel good. I get this, like, really bad social anxiety where I wanna cry and go home. <laughs> that literally happened to me at, um, in LA. Like, I literally, like, just, wanted to go home so uh -huh, that's kind of how I feel right now but we're gonna persevere through it because I have all my beautiful best friends hopefully you guys can hear me okay and um, let's get something to drink because I'm freaking thirsty um, can I try the mango green smoothie? the smallest one? Um, and it has no Right? Oh yeah, well the reason why I wanted to come grocery shopping is because I have um, a job I'm going to start working at that's like pretty far from my house so I'm not trying to eat out all the time so I'm going to try my best to buy some good snacks that I could like make myself lunch and that it will be good for a few hours like not in the refrigerator type of situation and I could eat or drink lunch so I'm not wasting a bunch of money eating at McDonald's you feel me? I got my smoothie this is my name on it and I'm excited I'm in the section with dog food and there's nobody in this aisle so that's why I came really really good I like it enough to buy it again you guys I found some taquitos and they're like plants look. these look pretty good for like a dinner maybe maybe not though maybe I wouldn't eat them honestly but I maybe would whatever I'll try it Okies, everybody so I finally made it home and honestly I don't think I'll ever go back to that grocery store like ever again like there honestly was just nothing interesting I've seen pretty much the same items but they were just there at a higher price so I feel like I made a mistake by going to the store but I mean let's see what we got let's just dive right on in why don't we I spent a total of like a hundred dollars yeah, I spent $96 exactly. So, if I remember, I'll try to tell you guys the price of everything. So, the first thing I got was some bananas. The bananas were $1.11, bro. And I got five bananas. So, yeah, just some classic bananas. Those are for some morning smoothies or acai bowls. Speaking of acai bowls... I also got this, which is acai um, berry plus kale plus spinach, and it says it comes with four packs inside. So I guess you just blend up the pack of like acai, and then you just top it with the granola and all that good stuff. And then the acai, how much was that? Um, <laughs> I really don't. 
don't see it on here. So, but it was probably like five bucks. And then I also got this. Also for morning smoothies, I like to just blend up a bunch of fruits and then just take it on the go in my car on my way to work so I could just drink a morning smoothie if I ever have like an early morning shift and I don't have time to make a full course meal. I could just blend up a bunch of fruits including these frozen mango chunks and make a morning smoothie. And to actually put into my smoothies, I got some orange juice so I could just have a little bit of juice in there that's also good for the acai bowls and then i have this which i'm super super excited for this is some veggie ham and this was only 2.69 so for like almost three bucks you guys this is literally just ham i'm gonna open it to show you guys i tried this before but it was like a different style ham it was like a turkey style and it was pretty good and i really enjoyed it so i'm really excited to try this because this is ham but um yeah, it's obviously not real ham. So I'm really excited to try that. Hopefully it tastes good. To put into my sandwiches, I have some provolone cheese. And this is not vegan cheese. This is just regular cheese. I also got this. This is perfect to put um, on any eggs that I make in the morning. This is delicious, dairy-free, soy-free good source of calcium cheddar shredded cheese i think this is like i don't know if it's vegan but all i know is that it's dairy free so there you go and then i had a re-up on my egg whites i bought this last time and i just finished this actually this morning so i was glad to see this at the store but this was more expensive rather than if i went to walmart so low-key got ripped off um let me tell you how much it was too I'm the worst at trying to put prices. Okay, the egg whites were $3.48, so that's not bad. Four bucks for egg whites. And this lasted me like a whole week last time, making breakfast almost every day. So that's pretty not shabby. The cheddar cheese was $4.39 for the dairy-free cheddar cheese. So that's not bad either. And then I got these. I was really debating on getting these, but honestly, I'm just going to try them. I'm not sure if I did a good job at buying these, but I just wanted to give them a chance. I don't see these at any other store so I was like you know what since I'm here at this special store that I drove like literally an hour to I might as well get a little some special so I plan on having this with some guac maybe some of this um, dairy-free cheddar cheese and then it should be pretty good this is um, chipotle style plant-based non-dairy no trans fat no cholesterol raw tacos in the chipotle style so i'm pretty excited to try those these i was kind of surprised to see these i've also never seen these anywhere else and these are crispy battered vegan frank Furters, furters? I don't even know. They're like mini corn dogs, but they're obviously not actual meat in them. So yeah, they're vegetarian. They said vegetarian right there, so don't come for me. And I'm really excited to try these. I was so disappointed though, you guys. I cannot find chicken nuggets anywhere. Vegan chicken nuggets, vegetarian chicken nuggets. I don't know if they were just sold out but i did find these and then this this is actually really weird i don't know if i'm gonna like these but i just picked them up because the amy's brand um i always just want to try something from the amy's brand but i haven't yet so i picked up these to try these are the nacho cheese and bean i think these were um 3.99 so like four bucks for this and i don't know how many come in here but oh no i went ham so i got another huge bag here and on the drive home i told you guys it was an hour drive and your girl got hungry i straight munched on half this bag of sea salt and vinegar chips i always get the sea salt and vinegar chips from sprouts and the sprouts ones are the best these ones do not compare i'm not disappointed because they're still dank but they don't compare to the sprouts vinegar chips i also got these so i picked them up this time to try them since you know i kind of need to be a little bit more healthy 
can't just be eating the potato chips all the time. Gotta have options. A healthy option, a not so healthy option. Gotta have options, boo. And I'm so excited because to eat with those chips, I wanna try it with this. This is Organic Hope Guacamole Green Chili. Ch -ch Chili. Ch -ch Chili. Mm -mm -mm. I love avocado. I love guac. But I don't like tomatoes. And it doesn't look like this has tomatoes in it. So I'm super excited to just munch on the guac with some chips whenever I'm hungry. And then I also got some bagels because I needed to re-up on some bagels. I love cooking like an egg white with some cheese and um, having it in a bagel. And then the avocados were actually 99 cents each. I remember I had went to Sprouts. It was three avocados for only a dollar. So this time they were a dollar each. So I only bought two. I also got two of these. I was so sad. They didn't have any mango um, little cups like this they only had these ones which were the diced peaches and pears excellent source of vitamin c and organic pear juice from concentrate Ooh, sounds good and healthy so i got these to munch on whenever i'm hungry and on the go i actually have pasta noodles already that i haven't even cooked so i decided to pick up this pasta sauce so maybe i could cook the pasta and then throw on this sauce on top with some shredded cheese i don't know we're gonna have to see how it turns out i'm not much of a cook but if you guys want me to attempt at like a vegetarian cooking type of video i'd be so down i just need some suggestiones because honestly i've never cooked in my entire life my mom never taught me how to cook so if i film a video y'all will be learning with me <laughs> but i also picked up this which is extra raw virgin coconut oil this was six bucks for this huge container that will probably last me forever i plan on rubbing this at the ends of my hair just because i have been doing lots to my hair lately and i don't want it to just get super fried and dead so i'm gonna start treating it every once in a while with some coconut oil and then to top my acai bowls i had to get some strawberries and blackberries unfortunately their fruits and their vegetables were all so pricey i was just like girl i could be going to sprouts down the street like you gotta be tripping no i'm just kidding but i also picked up this i saw this last minute when i was about to go in line to pay and i just had to grab this it looks so good it's a huge rice crispy bar and if you know me you know my favorite kind of edible are the ones that looks like these so whenever i just see something that looks like this i just have to get it so i got myself a little snack and then the last thing I got, I always like trying a new little drink every time I go to the grocery store. I think that's going to be my little thing that I do all the time is just grab a little drink just to try. So last time I tried the kombucha and I did not like it. I was not a fan of it. This time I'm going to try this, which is the Black Mood Peach Mango Basil. Guys, it's supposed to be water, but it's literally black. Should I try it on camera? I feel like I should try it on camera. Fuck it. It says it has zero of everything. The only thing it does have is calcium, 2%, and then 100% vitamin B. Okay, but no calories, nothing like that. Tastes kind of weird. I feel like I would drink this if I'm really thirsty, but honestly, that's so weird. I think it just disturbs me because of the color. Like, if it was a clear color, if it was any other color, I'd probably think it's bomb. But just because it's black, it just kind of freaks me out. But that's why I bought it, is because I was like, ooh, I've never seen this before. But, like, I could totally finish the rest of the bottle. And this was only, like, I think a dollar or fifty or something like that. So, it's not like it was super pricey like the kombucha. Please pick up... That is all I picked up today at the grocery store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button so I know. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button so y'all do not miss out on that future video. But most importantly, please, please, please do not forget to stay lit, stay up, and stay positive. Boo. Double deuce. Until next time.